we are testing our laser system, what we are looking at the spray diagnostics. So we are trying to characterize the fuel spray. Today, we have a very exciting day here. We are testing our new system, which is a laser and the optics systems that we have installed to look at the spray visualization. I'm Nishant Jain. I'm a senior propulsion engineer at Boom Supersonic. We are currently at Benzin Combustion Lab at Georgia Tech. In this rig, we have a single fuel nozzle that to be used for our symphony engine or for the uh, sprint core test, which will uh, test the high pressure uh, compressor, high pressure turbine and the combustor. We study the scattering of light from the fuel droplets, mainly to quantify our droplet distribution and the uniformity of the fuel spray. The way we do that is we take a laser and the beam coming out of the laser is then translated through mirrors and series of optics, which is a cylindrical lens and a spherical lens. We take a circular beam and convert it into a thin light sheet or thin uh, laser sheet. Then we pass that thin laser sheet through our test section and any fuel droplets that pass the laser sheet, they scatter light. This is similar to when we uh, sometimes wake up in a room and you see a slit in the curtains and as a, a sun, sunlight beams through it, you can see the dust particles floating around. That's a similar concept uh, which is uh, used here. It's called me scattering when a, a light sheet is uh, passing through and a particle passes through it. Uh, it scatters light that falls on it, and we capture that light through high-speed cameras. These are the cameras that we use to capture uh, those visualizations. Uh, the camera closest to you here, that's looking at an angle so that it can see the fuel spray. We have a very high-speed camera, which has a CH star filter, which is basically a radical that we generate as you create flame and it, it marks where the flame exists. So it's taking thousands of frames per second of flame imaging. We have a DSLR camera, which is capturing the colored image of the flame. And then we have another smaller camera uh, mounted on that post, which is looking at these bolts. So if we see any leakage or smoke coming outside the test section, that's our first indicator to shut down the rig. Normally we test with the lights on, but I want to give you a sense of what the, it looks like in the room uh, just with the laser light. Yeah, it looks really cool when you're operating this rig and the lasers are going on. It feels like you are uh, uh, in a disco or uh, having a party in there. <laughs> it's important to have a uniform fuel spray to have a uniform heat release in a sector inside an engine. When there is non-uniform fuel spray, you could have non-uniform heat release. So let's say the inner part or the outer part of the combustor in the engine could be hotter or cooler than the other side, uh, which would basically mean that the combustor exhaust temperature would be a non-uniform profile, and that could lead to durability issues uh, for the turbine blades. If there is a difference in brightness, for example, from top to bottom or side to side, that shows that one side of our fuel nozzle is not spraying as well. We want a nice uniform hollow cone of fuel spray. The testing that we are doing here is uh, very significant. It's one small step that will lead us to sprint core, which will then lead us to symphony and then to overture. At Boom, we have an agile mentality to, to be able to test and develop and build the product fast. The way we are doing it is by testing as early as we can in the design step and using that data to guide our design decisions.